Hello everybody and welcome to a new series of Outlast 2. I have finished the first one and it is up on my channel if you want to go complete that. Uh, watch that, it's under the Outlast part, uh, Outlast playlist. Um, yeah, I have had this requested to me by a few people, asking me when I'm going to play it. As I told them, I told them, you know, listen, I gotta complete the first one before I do the second one. It only makes sense. So here I am doing the second one, and we are going to, okay, we're going to do it. We can do the story mode, which is just, I'm just here for the ride, normal, no walk in the park, hard, I enjoy dying, nightmare, I deserve to be punished, and it's saying, life simulator. We're going to do normal, because, you know. Outlast 2 contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. Lynn Langerman is an investigative journalist seeking the answers behind a pregnant woman murdered in impossible, under impossible circumstances in rural Arizona. You and Blake Langerman, her husband, assistant, and cameraman, record everything. Neither of you are fighters to navigate the horrors waiting for you in the desert. Your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Now, this is pretty much like Outlast 1. I, we're not fighters, so we're going to have to hide or run. You know, because I only had, what, maybe three, four, maybe five deaths in this Outlast first series? Well, fuck. Well, welcome to Outlast 2. That was one hell of a ride. That's why I don't fly in helicopters. Or go to Arizona. And who the fuck goes to Arizona? Oh, now we're in a school? Alright. Cool. Cool. 
Um, all right. Oh, father, father, touch me not. You wanna come back? I might. No, no one ever listens. Why well, not school at six? Like six, eight, or six, seven in the morning or at night? Why the fuck am I still here? No. Shit. Oh. Jet. No. We're not alone here. Well, obviously we're not alone. <laughs> Lift off the. Yes, I am playing this on the PlayStation. PlayStation 4, to be exact. Most of my games are on there. I have very little games on the PC that I can actually run. Lynn? Lynn? Fuck my objective. Nothing matters but Lynn. Yep, subtitles are on. Oh no, no fail. G. We'll up that sensitivity though. Okay. Okay, so. Ooh, shit. Yeah, that's better. Oh wow. Oh shit. The helicopter is down. Jesus. Is No, there's no bodies. She's not in here. Lynn! Lynn! I I think this going to be on a search for more uh Oh, I got bandage. Two bandages. Use bandage. Oh. So I can heal myself. Sweet. But yeah, this is going to be a search on bandages and batteries. Again, can never have too many batteries. And this one don't tell you unless I'm looking down how many batteries you got. been out that did not happen in the crash I'm gonna put this out there uh, for any youngins watching my videos uh, yeah make sure you get permission from your parents please pilot I don't even remember his name 
What the fuck kind of people would skin somebody alive? Oh, Jesus Christ, Lynn. And see, I'm glad that they've added voices to the fucking main characters now. Um, yeah. So, we're going to keep on keeping on. Yeah, we record everything, but, uh, yeah, I know I'm a small YouTuber I'm trying to grow my channel. A town. Oh, thank God. I thought we were miles from anything. There's not supposed to be anything for miles. Okay. But yeah, uh, I understand that, you know, I'm small, I'm still new to this, and I'm growing. Like, it's gonna be a while before I start growing. And, you know, my mindset is fucking work for it. I got some friends who don't mind helping me out. I got people who are shouting out my channel every time they get a chance. I'm lost and hurt. Oh, that was a cactus. Did the cactus hurt me? Yep, cactus hurts me. Should have known that. Is anybody there? Please. Hey. Hey, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You're. This just happened. Find Lynn. Nothing matters but Lynn. Dear sweet Ellie, I can't bear what we done, nor be a part of, or nor be apart from our little ones. So, I'm going to I'm going over and hoping you forgive me for leaving you behind, and God forgives me for this last trespass. I know they that they have had I know that they had to be offering up but I'm all tore up inside and I can't live no more. Hopefully that at the end of this at the end will come soon and we'll be together again unless God burns me forever for this sin. Until then, I hope you find what woman's comfort you need in the arms of Papa Noth. Yours forever, Tom. So he committed suicide. <gasps> Battery. I have one battery. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. I'm leaving. Okay. Oh. There's no doorknob, so I can't go into that house. There's no doorknob, so I can't go into that house. Bars on that window. I can hide there. Okay, so...
Got a bandage. Hmm. I wanna read that up on this. Dear Father, our loving God continues to bless me with the visions, and I know more certain than ever that this enemy is near is nearer with every day. I was scrubbing the stairs on the floor of Daniel's room when the blessed blessed music rose by uh, inside me and sank into true sight where I saw a creature like the burning sun but with inward rings of teeth upon teeth and dangling beneath limbs that I took to be arms but were cocks that rose in childing purposes or purpose it fucked the earth and burst some great and slouching horror from the fire. Okay. If y'all want to read that in entirety, and mind you, that it is not for kids, I would suggest you do so. Um... But to be honest with you, it kind of creeped me out. A fucking cultist. So, I can hide in there. Ooh, battery. The fuck? Oh god! No, I'm gonna close that window. No battery. Okay. Um. How do I crawl? Okay. So, yeah. I'm going to leave this episode off here for now. Um, if y'all enjoyed this episode of Outlast 2 and you want me to continue on with the series, please let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, share, and all that. And as always, until next time, peace.